Hello, we're Krishna and Kareen from CK Performance Clinics and welcome back to our Learning to Loop series, part two, the toe to heel down loop transition. The plan today is to marry a toe to heel curve with your new best friend, the down loop. The result? A veritable killer combo. The bonus? You will add yet another string to your bow. In the grand scheme of our Learning to Loop series, this second episode is essentially a training exercise. The aim is to build more confidence and get more comfortable looping the kite. It's a different scenario as you will be approaching riding toe side, but rest assured, the looping part follows the same rules. The beauty of the toe to heel and the reason it fits so well with your down loop is that as you exit heel side, you can enjoy the power and really drive out of your calf. As you already have the know-how of the loop, we're going to focus on the intricacy of the move, the timing. Without further ado, let's have a look. The down loop is all about timing, when to pull the trigger and when to level the bar and stop the loop. When to loop. The concept remains the same, both when you have less resistance from your edge and when you're in a strong position ready for the pull. This is crucial, so make sure you relax your edge and initiate the calf before you loop. When to level, you aim to level the bar as the kite starts to rise. This way, it won't go all the way to 12 o'clock. Instead, it will pull you forward in a new direction as you exit your calf. Suffice to say, you will need plenty of space to loop your kite. Always check the coast is clear and that you've got enough room downwind. You don't want to be too powered for your first attempts. Rule number three from the last video still applies. Your kite needs to be high, but it can't be at 12 because you're riding. So approach with your kite around the 11 or one o'clock mark. Know where your sweet spot is. You're on a good toe side edge, weight centered and riding up wind. You can ease the bar out a little to slow down a touch. If you've been riding with one hand off the bar, get it back on. Relax your edge and stand up. This flattens the board. Think of it as transitioning from your toe edge over a flat board before rolling onto your heels. Drop your weight back onto your rear heel and turn your head to look downwind. This initiates the carve. As the board starts turning towards the kite, keep your weight over your rear foot. You are in a strong position. You're ready. Take a breath. The full Monty. Use both hands to turn the kite as quickly as possible. Keep locked in this position, both carving and steering the kite. Prepare for any eventualities. Watch and follow the kite. As the kite starts to rise, level your bar. Ease the bar out to let the kite breeze and fly to the edge of the window. It will pull you out of the turn nicely into the new direction. Turn your head to look upwind and get yourself and the board back onto your upwind edge. Remember, there is no hurry to untwist your lines. Wait until you are settled. Once you get more confident, you can initiate the down loop a little earlier, simultaneously as you relax your edge. Brilliant! Time to have a go!